Hello future scientists in unit 2 mixing materials separating mixtures so you have learned about mixtures and how to separate them you were able to choose the right equipment to separate a mixture and could draw a clear diagram in your workbook page 20 this worksheet is focus means that these questions help you to remember the basics so here you will label these diagrams, use these words, mixture magnet, mixture sieve, and fill in the missing words, use these words, magnet separate, separate, and sieve. In workbook page 21, practice is an application of what you have learned about separating mixtures. You will also draw lines to match each mixture to the sieve that can be used to separate it and finish each sentence. In your workbook page 22, challenge. Okay, these questions will make you think deeply where Zara has drawn two diagrams to show how she separated a mixture of sand and rocks. Workbook page 20, focus. Okay, let's label these diagrams. Use these words, mixture, magnet, mixture, sieve. This is a mixture of rice and beans and this is the sieve. This is magnet and this is a mixture of metal pins and sand. Number two, fill in the missing words. Use these words, magnet, separate, separate, and sieve. Letter A, we can use a sieve, correct, to separate a mixture of rice and beans. The grains of rice are smaller than the beans, so they will be able to go through the sieve into the container below. The beans are much bigger and will get caught in the sieve. Letter B, we can use a blank to blank a mixture of metal pins and sand. Okay, we can use a magnet to separate a mixture of metal pins and sand. You know that metal pins are made of steel and will be attracted to the magnet. Using a magnet will separate the metal pins from the sand that are left on the bowl or on the container. Workbook page 21, practice. Draw lines to match each mixture to the sieve that can be used to separate it. Then finish each sentence. The blank will go through the holes, but the blank will not. So, the soil will go through the holes, but the roots will not. Why? Because the soil is smaller and finer than the roots, so they will be able to go through the holes. The roots are much bigger and thicker and will get caught in the holes. Look at this picture. So the sand will go through the holes but the rice will not because the sand particles are smaller than the rice. So they will be able to go through the holes. The grains of rice are much bigger and will get caught in the holes. How about this? Okay, the rice will go through the holes but the beans will not. The grains of rice are smaller than the beans, so they will be able to go through the holes. The beans are much bigger and will get caught in the holes. We'll challenge you with these questions. On workbook page 22, Zara has drawn two diagrams to show how she separated a mixture of sand and rocks. Look at Zara's diagrams. She has made some mistakes. She has not labeled all the equipment and all the materials in each diagram. Some of her diagram is not neat. Question number 4a. What mistake has she made in diagram 1? So here you will compare. Look closely at these two diagrams. Okay, diagram 1 and diagram 2. And let her be what three mistakes has she made in diagram 2. Let's focus first on diagram 1. Here, she didn't use a sieve to separate the mixture. Now, what are the three mistakes has she made in diagram 2? You have learned that a diagram is different from a picture as a diagram shows only the important information. So, do not need to draw any people in your diagram. Only the equipment used and the materials. Also, remember how to add labels to a diagram using arrows from the words to the item in the diagram. So, Zara, she didn't label her diagram completely. She used wrong equipment to separate the mixture. She didn't label the sand. I hope that all questions are easy. And if you can answer this, you are ready again to move on to the next unit. Future scientists, thank you very much for a work well done.